Hello everybody and welcome to our channel. On today's video, we're going to be looking at the top 10 worst neighborhoods in the city of Tampa, Florida. We're not going to be using any type of analytical information for this video. We are only using our street experience. If you live in the city of Tampa, I would love to hear your personal opinion about my list. Because this video is based solely on my opinion, there really is no right or wrong answer here. Despite the source, most online lists are nothing more than somebody's opinion. Tampa is one of the fastest growing areas in the country, and there are many realtors out of the Tampa area who make online lists. Most of these lists are very sugar-coated, and they even have to go past their broker's opinion before they're allowed to publish these YouTube videos. So the information that you're getting from these realtor slash YouTubers is really a pile of garbage. That's why on our channel, we're gonna give you a real top 10 list of the worst neighborhoods in Tampa. And one of these neighborhoods is not within city limits, but it is still part of the Tampa metropolitan area. That despite Tampa having some of the worst hoods in the South, so many people go on YouTube and swear that it's a great place for people to move to, overlooking the many problems that the city has. On our video, we're gonna show you the real streets of Tampa. These are not file videos. We ourselves have toured the city of Tampa many times and are very familiar with the neighborhoods. All right, so let's get into this. The top 10 worst neighborhoods in the city of Tampa. Number 10 is the Cross Fletcher neighborhood. This is on the northern side of the city, and despite being kind of far from the city core, it is one of the most dangerous and hood neighborhoods in the entire metropolitan area. We have done several expeditions into Tampa to explore the city neighborhoods, and for the most part, I always went into the older neighborhoods around MLK and the east and west side of the city. However, it turns out that after repeated videos in Tampa, many of my subscribers started to suggest neighborhoods that were far outside the urban core. And thus, we were able to discover that some of the city's worst neighborhoods are actually quite far from the center of the city. Despite the fact Cross Fletcher is almost pushing out into the suburbs, it is still one of the realest places in Tampa. While most hood neighborhoods have murals and iconic businesses, Cross Fletcher lacks that hood identity a lot of neighborhoods gain fame for. Moving on to number 9 is North Tampa. The neighborhood is bordered by Nebraska Avenue, one of the most notorious streets in the entire city. The neighborhood has a diverse landscape ranging from single family homes to apartment complexes and rundown business centers. Homelessness, begging, and panhandling is very popular along the main avenues to stretch the neighborhood. None of the fancy boulevards of Hyde Park or South Tampa have anything to do with the scenery that you'll see in this part of Tampa. This is a completely different landscape is rarely spoken about or shown to you on YouTube videos. Those YouTuber realtors that we talked about earlier in the video these are the neighborhoods they would not want you to know about. One of the city's most historic neighborhoods is West Tampa. Here you will find the architecture that the city is known for, and it is number eight on our list. This neighborhood will give you a real Tampa feel. It has iconic buildings, lots of different landscapes, ranging from historic neighborhoods all the way into large commercial districts. And despite having so much historical things going for it, it is still one of the most dangerous neighborhoods in the city. If you really want to get familiar with the city of Tampa, this is one of those neighborhoods you absolutely have to have scratched off your Tampa bucket list. Moving on to number 7. The neighborhood of Armenia is a very diverse, mostly Latino neighborhood compromised of Cuban and Colombian as well as Puerto Rican and other Latin American communities which have set up shop here and created kind of a Tampa Latino district. It has some of the most unique Latin restaurants with authentic food you'll find in the entire Tampa area and when I go to Tampa this is the neighborhood I almost always go to directly. Now Eber City is more of a tourist destination that most 
course, would associate with the city's history and their food. But as a real Cuban, when I go to Tampa, I go straight to Armenia. And this is kind of the small Latin neighborhood. While there's a lot of business and lots of great things to do in this neighborhood, living here is a little bit different of a story. So while doing business here and exploring here is a great place, Living in this neighborhood is a little bit different. It still has all of those inner city aspects that most people don't want in a residential neighborhood. And this is a neighborhood that despite its bad reputation, I strongly encourage you to explore at some point if you really want to get familiar with the real streets of Tampa. Since this isn't some tourist trap neighborhood, this is where the authentic, real people, real Latin community of Tampa goes to eat, goes to do business, the real heart of the Latino community in Tampa, you'll notice a lot of panhandling, a lot of beggars, like all the other major throwaways through Tampa. This is just part of life in Tampa, something that a lot of these YouTube realtors are not really talking about too much on their videos. Moving on to number six is East Tampa. Now this is an older and also historic neighborhood that has all the things you would expect from the mom and pop barbecue place on the corner, the corner store, everything you would expect in the hood is in this neighborhood. So this is a more traditional American neighborhood, inner city neighborhood, and it's kind of what you would expect on this type of list. But I've thrown in a lot of other neighborhoods in here just to give this video a more unique and authentic touch to the Tampa experience. East Tampa is known as having some of the highest crime rates, poorest neighborhoods, and while there are great things going on, the city of Tampa in particular in this part has really struggled to take some of the street elements out of the way and back to Nebraska Avenue again, one of the most notorious streets in the entire city goes right through this neighborhood. This part of Tampa is no stranger to violence, high crime, and inner city problems. And some of the city's most notorious sections along Nebraska are right here in this neighborhood. Moving on to number five, the Moon Lake neighborhood. Now this little mobile home paradise is located outside of the city limits. Perhaps you have seen this neighborhood on the live cops TV show. Of course, not all of the bad neighborhoods of a city are gonna be inner city neighborhoods or minority communities. There's a lot of rural poverty surrounding Tampa and this neighborhood really highlights that any type of neighborhood can be an undesirable place to live. It is known for flooding, bad infrastructure, high crime, drug manufacturing, the list of problems with this community goes on quite a bit. Some of the locals have even gone as far as putting up 10-foot fences around their properties to deter criminals from breaking in. To number four, Sulphur Springs. Now when I first heard about this neighborhood, I wasn't even sure that it was part of Tampa city limits. I thought it was an individual city. It turns out that it's actually a neighborhood of the city of Tampa. This is definitely out of the way and you won't end up here unless you're actually coming here for a reason. This North Tampa neighborhood has some of the worst drug dealing, open air drug markets, crime, and just straight up bad stuff going on out of all the neighborhoods in the city of Tampa. And despite being lesser known and not having as much street credibility as some of the other neighborhoods, trust me, this is definitely one of the worst places in all of Tampa. Moving on to number three, the University neighborhood. This part of Tampa has definitely not missed the spotlight. If you guys remember during the Tampa riots, they burnt down their Foot Locker. Or was it the Champs? I couldn't tell because they burned down the whole building by the time I got there. Every store, every market, everything in this neighborhood was looted, robbed, broken into during the Tampa riots, including gas stations, 
It was a horrible thing to do to attack your own neighborhood and the businesses that invested in your community. And ever since, this community has just gotten a horrible reputation with reason. Moving on to number two is Ybor City. Now this is a tourist attraction and in part of Tampa that you absolutely have to see if you want to understand the city's real history. It is a conjunction of Italian and Cuban American history showcased by cigar factories and other types of early businesses that led to creating the city of Tampa as we know it today. District honors these early businessmen who founded the city of Tampa, but like any neighborhood like this, it is a gathering place for homeless people and beggars. After the coronavirus lockdowns, the city of Tampa did massive efforts to make it a friendlier open public place, and they're really working on making it a safer place. However, despite the fact that you must see this part of Tampa, I will warn you that the residential neighborhoods directly around Ybor City are very dangerous, and while it's not as bad as New Orleans, you need to be careful when you're in this part of Tampa. A very fun place to visit, but perhaps not the best place to live. And before I move on to number one, I want to remind the people of Tampa that you can always leave your comments, your thoughts, and your opinions on the worst neighborhoods. And if we get enough contribution, we can always make a second updated episode that is more accurate. One of the reasons I love to explore Tampa is because when I do these videos, the comments and the feedback that I get from the people of Tampa is nothing but love. Number one is the Tampa Heights neighborhood. Now, most of Tampa Heights is a mixed area. There's good parts, there's bad parts, but there's one notorious neighborhood, Robles Park, which was built over an African-American cemetery. That means that this government housing was actually constructed over coffins that are underneath the units where people are still living today. This is one of the most embarrassing historical aspects of the city of Tampa, and this type of thing was not uncommon in South Florida, with other cities like Naples and Orlando also having a very dark historical past, and this neighborhood in Tampa highlights that. In the case of Naples, Florida, there are African American grave sites underneath Pine Ridge Road. This was clearly done in the 60s, 50s, and other eras as a clear sign to the African American community that they were not even respected in death. Thankfully though, Florida is much more progressive than the rest of the South, and if you're leaving other parts of the South and you're tired of dealing with these types of things, I want you to know that Florida has come a very long way, and the cities of Tampa and Jacksonville are very diverse places that are growing, and people are coming to this area from all over the country. There are still hoods here like in any city its size, but I normally spend a lot of time in all these neighborhoods that we talked about on this video, and I have never had a problem in the city of Tampa. I have, however, ran into street violence, and we have seen some of the scariest things we have seen while traveling in the United States on the streets of Tampa. Like one time, we were passing this business center right here, and there was a vehicle with somebody inside who has recently passed from a gunshot wound. It is a very dangerous city in a lot of places, so I'm not going to tell you that it's a perfect place, but it's a lot better than some of the other larger cities in the country, like Philadelphia, Detroit, Chicago. you got great weather. It's a great place to be, but just like any city this size, it's going to have its ample share of bad neighborhoods. But for being in Florida, it has more core it has more culture, more vibes, and more history than any other city in Florida, being that Florida is devoid of historical older cities and neighborhoods. So if you like that, you'll find it in Tampa. Those are the top 10 worst neighborhoods.